Hello and guten tag again. Today I'm having a look at Achilles Legends Untold or Achilles Legends Untold uh, which is basically Dark Souls in Greek. Um, I'm gonna jump right into the game. Um, yeah, we're obviously gonna take Hero as a sophisticated gamer. I want that challenge. There's a place for everyone, they said. Souls stripped of their rest wander through the mortal world. Lost and abandoned, they bring blood, death, and fire. The hopeless cycle of war carries on. A cycle of foolishness, of life and death, of death and death. Dancing at the edge of the end. Beggar, king, god, or hero. It will reach everyone in time. Now tell me, where will it find you? Okay, and here we are, back, well, finally in the game. Um, when I said Dark Souls in Old Greek, you would see like it's a top-down game. It's not exactly 3D. We got some basic introductions. Let's quickly get to the controls. We got like our basic attack, strong attack. We even got running attacks, which are pretty cool. We obviously got dodge roll, small dodges. We also got special attacks and such as I will show. We got the possibility to show where we have to go. I quickly started this before to get a hang on the controls. Obviously a target lock. And these regular enemies are not too rough. Fought some of them before. There's obviously also several bosses and other good stuff that we know from the Sword series. There is loot, oh, okay, and there's a bad Fuzzy Mackie, already playing not too well. Our stamina bar was below the character, the green thingy. And what I wanted to also show is like we also got this, oh, I think I misclicked. Should have special, yeah, special stances. Well, uh, this is a very, very, very early stage of the early access. I think it's version 0.2.0. So, yeah, if we go like for the regular cycle, which wants to aim at 1.0, we still got a long way to go, I think. Um, I think I need, yeah, I need to go north. So let's quickly check this. If there's some loot. Anything interesting? This game has RPG mechanics. Like I can quickly show you there's like the good old equipment menu where you get like stats, armor protection, you can qu hopefully equip different weapons, I don't know that, maybe you can just upgrade those. Uh, more like maybe, I don't know, Secret of Mana, where you get like your main weapon and just upgrade it over the course of the game. Um, and there's obviously our story. Yeah, other points are still unlocked uh, to this stage of the game. There's also items and stuff, but uh, these functions will get unlocked as far as I got it throughout the tutorial. Uh, you might have also noticed I didn't really lose HP yet. I think that's also somewhat of a tutorial function. First I saw that it has like Bloodborne mechanics where you regenerate HP when you hit an enemy quickly after um, it first damaged you. We obviously also got our regular shield block. Just like that, and we can kick him, and when he's down, we hit him. 
I like that you don't um, use a uh, stamina if you just run around. It makes the game a little more fluent. Ah yeah, by the way, this game is developed in Unreal Engine. I'm actually not sure if it's already the 5.0 version or still the 4.0, which we all know. It's also not perfectly optimized yet. Ah. I'm a little bit uh, harsh in my approach here. Should have done that more clean. At the moment I think some of the animations are still a little bit rough, but I also saw, saw some pretty cool stuff like where you pretty much closely evaded uh, uh, the sorted of the enemy, like it looked like that, as if you just shortly evaded it and then afterwards slashed the enemy, which looked pretty cinematic. So I think they're on a pretty good route here to make a really great game, which I still would like to see what would be obviously barriers you can roll through and stuff like that, destructible environment. It's so relaxing to do that. <laughs> well, that means only one road we need to know. Uh, we already know where we needed to go. Sorry, sometimes when I just talk straight out, I'm a little bad on the English grammar, but as small as I talk English, I'm, I'm getting better at it again. I'm just a bit out of training. Hector! You alone I will leave to be eaten by dogs and vultures! Ha! Come and try if you're eager to die. I might be drunk. <laughs> at our first boss fight. Archer! He's the bravest. You might have noticed that pop-up message where it said like if there's a, like a red attack, uh, you have to evade that. But I'm not seeing any red bars throughout this fight. I, I did this fight before, like, and that was basically when I stopped that door. I'm also not sure if I can actually die already or if I also would regenerate HP because I think I do. There's also healing portions and stuff just like in Dark Souls. Oh, thought I might be quicker than him but accidentally hit the strong strike instead of the regular. And there we have Oh yeah, you also got this... Uh, I mean, in this case, I could only kill him, but maybe later on you can also mercy people and stuff. She got your ass. Like that. I think it might influence uh, the later story of the game. Um, find the entrance to Troy. Okay, I guess I cannot enter here. But I think at, the, at this point it already looks really good, really good. I like this kind of games, like I'm a huge soul fan. Played the shit out of Elden Ring, obviously. Like a lot of other people, and really enjoyed my time. But sadly, as I was a little bit uh, too enthusiastic and like too explorey, <laughs> I pretty much made too much side content, I was so overpowered at some stage. But the main storyline was not too thrilling anymore in <laughs> Elden Ring for me. I mean, those bosses were still pretty, pretty strong, millennia and so on, but you know what I mean. You can get pretty power creeped in that game on your first run already. And I mean, Greek mythology is pretty cool, so depending on what they are planning to do with this game, this might be really awesome. As far as I got it, it's already a pretty experienced team of developers, even though a small team. And they got a pretty good idea of what they want to do, which is pretty much Dark Souls uh, as a top-down version in Old Greek. I like the little details and on the graphical side, like you see those reflections in the water of my characters, they are pretty awesome. Or like when you walk, run through the grass that it like moves with your character. Yeah, one of my special skills, like that's what I meant with stuff gets unlocked over time. 
that one. I'm not too used to play with a controller, to be honest. I'm more of a keyboard and mouse warrior. That's why I sometimes might hit the wrong buttons when I'm playing with a controller. Yeah, there we got our regular item build that we also know and love from the sword series with the healing portions and the other good stuff that we will fight later on. Sorry I'm running around like a fool but I also want to explore the area and see what's actually going on. Oh. Stamina is a little harsh still. Would love to have some more. But I guess we will get that over time. Oh. Ah. Stupid smart bowman. Oh, I'm sick, I'm stuck. No, okay, now I can move again at least. <laughs> was kind of stuck there. I don't know what that was. Why didn't I hit him? Oh. Oh. Bad timing. Let's fall back a bit. Okay. Thin out their numbers and then we reapproach this. Ah. This pesky bowman. I agree. Still, I don't seem to be able to lose HP as far as I figure because my HP bar is not moving. Uh, some of the regular animation should be a little bit more varied. I mean, obviously, if you hit the button more times, it does different animations. But if you do like this, uh, uh, that was not a perfect example. Like quickly stop and hit again, it's always the same. I mean, that's like complaining on a high level, as in Dark Souls is pretty much also like that. But it looks different from the 3D perspective, I guess. It's more present on this perspective. The isometric that is. Ah, I shouldn't have to use the heart. Yeah. Oh. At the moment this looks like nothing and is as if it was really easy, but I guess this is getting really hard at some point. With the typical uh let's have our few hundred tries on a boss maybe. Well a few hundred is a little bit overstated. But you know what I mean. You might have some fun time with certain bosses, depending on their mechanics. Oh. Yeah, as we see, there's also the regular item tees. Or maybe I just plain out missed it earlier. I think I came from that direction, basically. Did I? I'm not too sure. Let's follow the way. I think I gotta get up here. Cannot drop down. Okay, I can drop down here. Okay, that's a little inconsistent. I think it would be more nice if they add some consistency to, uh, to that, that we actually can just drop down everywhere, even though maybe add falling damage. Oh, that was nice. I didn't see that one before. They teamed up. Really nice. Well, this game, before I forget it, has also a co-op mode. I'm not sure how workable it is at the moment, I just saw it in the main menu. So you can play this with a friend, probably. Which would be awesome, I guess. Or maybe even more than one. I mean, I can imagine this being really fun if you do this with like two or three people even. Uh, where do I have to go? Okay. And let's quickly explore. I want to destroy you. Why are you not getting destroyed? <laughs> Destructible environment. Very important for modern games. That's why Goat Simulator was that, uh, that successful. <laughs> I'm not too sure what the drop of Ares blood actually is. Let's have a quick look. Uh, where's my cursor? Well, something. Now I can move. First I couldn't move the cursor anymore. Okay, this seems to be giving me the special skill power, I think. It should be the blue bar. Let's quickly try that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, like for, for the kick I did earlier or the shield throw in example, you need the special power. I don't know if... Yeah, I think you might only be able to regenerate with, with portions actually to represent, uh, represent something like magic or mana. I really dig the graphics. Looks really cool. Nice work with light and shadows. Do I have to go north? Okay, then quickly check south. I don't want to miss one of those juicy items. Oh, isn't that... I think that was the item tease from before. Nice. And I mean, for some reason I almost dislike to being able to see where you have to go. I mean, one of the fun parts in Dark Souls was to be actually lost and... I don't know, run into way too strong enemies and regretting your life choices, cursing the game. Why are you stabbing me? They also sidestep. Tricky bastards. Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't try to jump attack against him. Die already. Thank you. Is the other one regenerated or does he stay? Oh, he stays on those low health. That's nice, actually. Oh god. Okay, that was really bad. I'm still regenerating HP. Maybe this is an actual in game function, even though it's a little strange because that's rather fast for Souls game. Sort of was maybe by the tutorial, but. Yeah, a little bit more advanced yet, I'd say. Would be strange to still have this high auto regeneration. Oh, I think there's a boss. Uh, when you got the health potions already, the eight to be seen on the lower left. Uh, again, about the optimization, as you see, there's like huge FPS spikes. You can see the FPS in the lower uh, left corner of my screen if you're interested in that. And I got pretty good hardware, so yeah. This game needs also some more optimization. Hector is dead. I hope at the very least you don't fight like a child. You bastard. Apollo, help me. You will die before the sun sets. Mm. The dialogues are not on soul's quality. Whoa, for sure. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's even going on? Chill, bro. Chill, give me a second. I can't use my shield for some reason. Uh, not exactly sure what is going on now. Okay, I cannot throw my shield. I cannot... Okay. Okay. I was about to say, I swear to God, I'm gonna hit you at least a few times. <laughs> I think I need to stay closer to him. Oh, oh. That guy is insane. At least I can use my skills now again. Ah, I shouldn't have let him out of the corner, I guess. Even though... At least special skills of him are a problem. Do you want? 
You wouldn't bother to come here just to mock me, would you? Straight to the point. I like that. Say, if I were to send you back up to the mortal world, would you care to do a few things for me? What kind of things? Oh, bring this, find that, kill someone perhaps, nothing special. Hmm. You've certainly earned your place here. It's one of a kind. Even if you run until your legs give out, all you'll ever see is emptiness and darkness. No people, no pleasures from your mortal world. You won't even hear a sound. It's perfect for one having spent their life basking in legends and songs such as yourself. Hmm. Very well, you win. Anything is better than Tartarus. Well said, Achilles. Then let's not waste any more time. I'm already dead. It can't get worse than that, can it? Okay, that was pretty cool. I guess we now know why we are, let's say, undead. I guess. I have a task for you. Sorry. Already? Can't I look for a tavern first? I've been waiting for my nephew, Hephaestus, but his arrival grows later by the day. Check the nearby roads and go to his workshop. Perhaps he needs help. Yes, fine. I'm on my way. Achilles, I am the king of the underworld. Fools worship my brothers and sisters, seeking short-lived riches and elusive beauty. Yet, they forget it is I who always awaits them in the end. Go and serve me well, Achilles. You won't regret it. Time to get to work. Maybe he'll set up a tavern for me down there. Now it's officially a Souls game, they're skeleton. No, um, what I wanted to say before... Oh, I got another sword. Nice. Probably worse than the one before, but... Okay. Oh, the skill tree, I haven't seen that before. Oh my, 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 my. That's a lot of stuff. I probably have to get a deeper look in this during my play. For now I'm gonna leave it like that, because... I don't want to spoil too much here, but as we see, there is a huge play tree. Probably you can like uh, vary your game style by however or whatever route you might take. Maybe you can even get an Achilles Mage. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. We got 15 o Omega icons. I think that's Omega. Yeah, whatever. I think that might be experience. Not too sure. Or it's just money. <laughs> Uh, okay, the shrines are our bonfires. Whoa. 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 Another I really didn't see them. They blend in pretty well with the environment. <laughs> An innocent soul. Nice. Ah, I just realized what I saw was probably my souls, the Omega Army souls. That's really awesome. How expensive is it? What is that? Oh, okay, 600. It's been locked. Probably have to start with that one. Not enough fate. Ah, it's called fate. Okay, now I know it. Yeah, this is cool. I'm really digging this game. I think for someone that actually... What am I locked to? 
That was a little strange. In fact, I was still locked onto something, but couldn't change it. Okay, there's something behind the tree. But I need to figure out a way to get there, actually. Ah, there's different kinds of healing potions. I guess I'm having the small one equipped then. What's all that stuff? Let's have a quick look. Tell him, oh, that's a homeward bone. Yeah, that's just some some salt. Let's quickly quick. I think I have to. I, I have to quick it over the the cross actually. Some of, okay. We know what these are. Um, let's quickly also go the larger just in case. What? They blend in really well with the environment. I mean, I saw them coming, but I didn't realize it's three. I thought it was two. <laughs> The barley sleeve. That might be actually some crafting items. Sorry. And I'm also seeing this all the first time and as I'm really planning to play this game. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's just uh, our resistance item. I'm really planning to fully play this game. Like complete playthrough. As I'm really liking games like this. Um, I'm also want to get to know the items and such. But I guess you obviously might also be interested in what there actually was picked up. As you don't know the game either, probably. Oh, okay, I nearly, really need to watch what I'm doing here. I think I'm poisoned. Okay, those status items need to be a little more present. I saw that rather late, admittedly. And that looks nice, the animations. Of the souls of fate. Ah! I guess the white icon I saw earlier was an enemy, not an hidden item. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, enemy. Definitely enemy. Ballast root. Let's have a quick look. Antidote. Okay. Yeah. I. I and the menu isn't too great yet. I hope they make like a little more structured menu l later on. But you have got a better overview because if there's as many items as in the Souls game, this will get fucking horrible at some point. But like I said before, pretty early stage of development might be in planning already. I hope at least they thought about that. Because spending minutes over minutes in your inventory is not too enjoyable in my opinion. I mean, some people enjoy it, like sorting inventories and stuff like that, but I never was that kind of guy. I prefer the gameplay and not the inventory sorting minigame. <laughs> yeah, I would know. Light black spike again. No. Okay, you're still able to slightly move when you were drinking the portion that just saved me from a hit. Just like the cool guy in the movies, where legs walked backwards while the, guy, while the skeleton was striking. <laughs> Is there something in here? No. Okay. Okay, we still got our marker where we would have to go. But I mean, in games like these, if you don't explore the surroundings, why are you even playing this? This is... That's like the journey is also the game, basically. For me, in Souls game, in my opinion. Like it's a story you are writing yourself while playing. Well, story writing yourself is maybe a little too far fetched, but you guys know what I mean, and girls probably. Ah. 
I dig the environment. I really like that. It's these little details that make the game worthwhile. Oh. Don't you evade my attack. Kick. Laser kick. <laughs> Sorry, that's like a German meme basically. <laughs> Amber, just just a quick look, I'm sorry. Just need to know. Need to know. Okay, I guess that's stamina region portion. Pretty awesome. Might be very useful to do in boss fights. Man, I'm already loving this game a lot. Shrine. At last. Okay, let's have a quick look to the left before we Proceed to our actual objective. Uh, the stamina region is not too fast. Or like the initial when you empty it out, it feels like it has a short delay before it starts refilling again. Or maybe it's just I push the button one more, oh, one time too often. Hero song, what is, is that a weapon? Oh, I already got an... Oh, nice. Let's have a look at the axe. I didn't even get that. I missed that completely. Ah, uh, okay, nice. We get more ex uh, fate. Let's call it fate from now, not souls. <laughs> when you kill enemies. Oh, the axe is nice. Let's have a little jumpy attack. Okay, there's no jumpy attack. Or maybe I wasn't running fast enough. No, no jumpy thing. Sad. Sad fast. <laughs> Would have been cool if you like does a head splitter jumping attack with the axe. Is it actually like the same? Okay, it seems to be just Oh. I was about to evade, I swear. Okay. Could you turn around deck? I cannot attack. Uh I think I'm glitched out. <laughs> it's also a surfing simulator, as you see. Oh, no, I, I think I saw something... Not really glitched out. Uh, there was a point... Somewhere I saw that, like, getting unstuck. Oh, no. Eh, go away, skeleton. I'm busy here. Okay, I guess... I have to use the fourth return because I don't see me getting out of this state anymore. Or maybe if I change the weapon. Oh yeah, that worked. Nice. Well, it's still an early access. It seems to be obvious at this point. If you haven't seen in the upper left corner yet the huge message <laughs> being present throughout the whole game. This is awesome. I'm loving this. <laughs> I was one of the guys that was really like, yeah, Dark Souls, I don't know, man. It's not my game. Then I started playing it and was like, what? This is uh, great. Why haven't I played this earlier? Then I was frustrated. Rage quitted it like 15 times during my first place. <laughs> but I always came back at, at the latest two or three days later when I was like, okay, come on. Let's just fucking do it this time. And since then I'm really in love with everything from from software. Even though Sekiro was not exactly my kind of game, I like the Souls types more. Sadly couldn't play Bloodborne myself as I'm not having a PlayStation 4. But yeah. I hope they maybe make a PC port at some time. And I also would really love to play the Demon Souls remake. Because I also never played Demon Souls. I think if you haven't played Demon Souls, you're no real Souls fan, probably. At least that's what the haters say. Or oh, the community. Sorry for saying haters. I get the get good mentality, I'm totally in it. 
I had to get good to overcome my struggle. <laughs> I mean, I love that. Like, Dark Souls is the one game where even if you look at the guide, I mean, if you suck, the guide doesn't help you that much. It gives you a basic idea or direction, but do get your shit together. <laughs> Nice way to open chests. I also do that in my free time. As a training. Right before I uh, slice apart telephone books with my bare hands. <laughs> it's called Greek workout. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna stop for now. I'm... Oh, hold on. No, no, this is a bad point. I'm gonna do at least one skill up and then I'm gonna stop because I don't want to make the first video too long and also I'm kinda running out of time and as I have to work today also. Working on Sunday is not fun. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. What you gotta do, what you gotta do. Okay. We got one more endurance, one more strength. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I hope you also like this kind of game uh, and like <laughs> enjoy these kind of games as I do. Um, I'm gon definitely gonna do more on this, even if it's like in a rather early stage of development. But this is all also still very playable already. And man, I think this game is great. I really think this game is great. Um, give it a chance it's on steam i don't know how expensive it was i bought it i think slightly reduced for a slightly reduced price one week ago and not had the time before to play it now i did um as you might have noticed <laughs> i'm sorry i'm talking out of my ass thank you for coming by i hope you enjoyed maybe leave a comment a like or even a subscription that would be awesome have a great day see you soon goodbye